The 51 got into the back of the 17. Yeah, Timothy Peters jumped on the brakes, and Kyle Busch actually ran in the back of him. It looked like Brandon Jones, the 33 truck, the 16-year-old, turns around off of turn four. Brandon Jones making his first start in the Camping World Truck Series. Brings out a second caution. Classic down on the inside and getting loose. Well, he was loose just about even before he got down in the corner. He was already loose. Brandon Jones, not a lot of experience. Gets sideways there, and that begins it. Brendan Newberry able to sneak by on the outside. Brandon Jones and Justin <laughs> Boston. Whether this thing's going to stick down here or not. Right. Brandon Jones drives it in hard he's contact and he it. goes around. I think John just thought he'd give a block here to the 19, but uh, Reddick was in there far enough to where there wasn't anything Tyler Reddick could do. He, he, uh... See speeding, just getting to pit road. There's a caution. You see the 33, uh, Brandon Jones goes around. And I think he tried to dive to the bottom for the first time, and the truck just broke loose with him when he drove to the bottom. That's that's a quick snap there, too. You usually see him wiggle a little bit more than that. Six trucks all down. And oh, hang, on, hang on, Brandon. Keep it off the wall. Oh, boy. Watch out how these banks are so cleaning. Oh. oh. Just taps it. Great for Brandon Jones. Yeah, you knew that tire was, was going to go down, or we figured it would. And you it see did. as they come off turn four, you think that you've made enough of a run there, but the nine car on the outside, you've always got to be mindful of that car. It, it's carrying more speed as it gets back to the throttle, and he, he missed his opportunity if he was going to make the slide job. He had him cleared at one point in time. Just loses it like this, and it's not the first time we've seen it at this corner, DJ. Seems to be an action spot there. Uh, trying to this is on the grass, and does he hit his Roush Fenway teammate? No, he doesn't, but there's, oh, look at this. There is a huge collision. Kenny Habal, Tommy Dreesey in it, and the 33 as well. They make it through, but Tagliani had to check area. He gets back by two. He yeah, there he is, just, just runs off the racetrack, yeah, wow. makes pretty good contact. You think that was yep, a flat tire? Too. Corner into like turn three, he's actually approaching turn four, and you know, for whatever reason, he just got out of the groove, and then once he got out of the groove, he was Guys, along for the ride. Battles all over the oh, road. big problems here as the 33 of Jones spins around and collects a couple, including the nine truck of Williams. Right side of your screen, looked like Brandon Jones had committed to go down to the bottom of the racetrack, and at the last moment, Mason Mingus drove his truck underneath the 33 of Brandon Jones. And they made contact. The Ganassi stables. As a top five off pit road, we reset the running order when we come back. Great to see that car come back onto the yes. ground. We saw cars go airborne in Talladega. That car could have easily went up and in the air and flipped over. The roof flaps open, the cowl flaps open, set the two back on the ground. And the problem started with where Brendan Poole was trying to there bump contact, around. Maybe. Yeah, there was some contact, I believe, there from the 88 of Josh Berry. So I don't think it had anything to do with the speedy drive, other than maybe if Josh Berry got hit. Oh, Hemrick slides up the track, gets into Allgaier. Jones hit it once. Seventh of the day, it's for second year driver Brandon Jones. Pretty good left front, spinning the fence oh, on the right side. Brandon goes up the hill a little bit, and that turns him into Cole Custer, and then just checking up, chain reaction behind it. of Suarez being so far to the right, I think the 48 was kind of thinking, you know, I'm going to go up here, and, and he was sitting there trying to side draft, and then Hemrick's trying to side draft, and that's usually how a lot of these things start, by two people side drafting at the same time and meet in the wrong direction. Right in the middle of all that, the 19 of Matt Tiff. Bottom of your screen just snuck by the 20. For 10th. Ah, yeah, the 99 of Brandon Jones was on the inside. He got loose took himself and Kaz Grawl into the outside safer barrier. That's a tough break for the rookie. Hey, here's Grala. the reason for our seventh caution of the afternoon. Just came out from underneath of him. Did a great job of keeping it off the wall, keeping that throttle down and then locking it down. Uh, he was safe. You can see just a little loose there. And there it is. It just allows the 16 to get to his back bumper. And I don't think they actually hit each other, but you just he's already loose once in the corner, so he's already loose. And then when the 16 packs here. Oh, it's a yeah, little left rear tire. Turn him straight right into the outside wall, and away it goes. And his teams, that's that's something that everybody here is is always and pushing he had the limit on the it. back today. Right side of your screen. Brandon Jones gets. Mm -hmm. 
loose, spins around. To slow the like steam oh, down. Oh, into the wall, goes to 33. He collects the five of Mike Lynette. Caution you. comes out. Numerous cars get caught up in this one. restart and accelerate into the back of the he, front row. And he went with the flag went, though. He's the flag's waving. And remember, at the initial start of the race, there is no restart zone. Right. It's the initial start of the race. Well, it's the flagman. Right behind Elliott Sadler, and that's what triggered all all of this, I believe. You can see the nine car there right Five the races left. You see he just got free off of turn four. Makes contact with the inside wall. Not huge contact, though, Steve. We've seen much bigger contact when people In a little too deep, four. too deep, too hard on the brakes. Up the track into the quarter panel of the 33. Yeah, I think Chastain just trying a little bit too hard right there. Just wasn't going to be able to. Take a look as he's sliding, trying to break it down. Yeah, he had pitted on lap 142. Running, and now he Take a look. The 33 slid up the racetrack. Yeah, it just looked like he was underneath Casey Mears and just no air on the side of the car, and it just spun out. So right here, he's got the brakes locked up, but you mentioned self-cleaning. That's a great example. The banking. You can see right there, it's just so many cars in one spot, and that's all because big impact. It's all because of the troubles in turns one and two. There's so little grip there that somebody has a problem. They bottle everybody up. They end up three wide. Somebody doesn't have the momentum another guy has. Next thing you know, you're three or four wide. Things happen quickly. There's contact. But it all starts because the, de the redesign of one and two. That was the idea. Not to have wrecks, but to have people that have trouble. If your car doesn't handle as well as somebody else's, then the guy behind you. To be you successful at this style of racing, I go back to last year when he was competing for you, involved in an early crash. Maybe protect the inside a little bit and the push wasn't quite as square as he needed again with the car not at, at full speed. To make it off turn? No, they didn't. Will the caution flag fly? Did he get to the start finish line? Coming. We'll keep see coming. here. The yes. caution Kurt did not already in trouble. Whoa, so fortunate. Fortunate, A, that he didn't get in the outside wall, but then also a great job by Brandon keeping the gas down. Like he had gets loose. Just chasing it. Really, really loose. It's amazing that wall. Did you see that thing move? Every time I see a wreck anymore as a race car driver, sure appreciate whoever <laughs> built and designed that thing. <laughs> it makes me want to hug them. <laughs> I mean, I know how hard that concrete is and that technology. Look at the job Sieg does. He just. <laughs> yeah, he did. He said it got a lot. He um, was right Ooh, in the middle of the Justin road. Justin Allgaier was all but wrecked there as yeah. well. Really fortunate for both those guys because Brandon was. Loose, dead in the center of the turn, and it went for a long. Moving around, the 19 goes sideways. Larson stays up front and will on, win stage on. two. Brandon Jones with a nice save. No. Nope. Matt Tiff thought it's under 20 to go. There's a contact. Now they're up the racetrack, out of the groove. You see Austin Cindric with a really good job behind John Hunter Nemechek, not to make that worse than, wreck any worse than it was. And look at this, spinning in front of the entire field and nobody hit him. This is where the damage is. Boom, that's a big impact. Christopher Bell through turns three and four. Here comes Justin Allgaier. Oh, spinning behind, but they're coming to the checkers. Just loses the back in the center of the corner. Throttles up just a little bit there. A little bit of contact with the tire. Oh, Jones around. Frisco. Big time trouble. This just happened. Brandon Jones off in the grass. Now he's got to contend with Bale. We've got, uh, looks like Brandon Jones around. Another crash coming off of turn one. It's right kind of where those bumps are, uh, the, where they put the patches, and you know, you, you're trying to power up and go right, around the corner. And... Oh, problem for the 51 a truck of Brandon Jones trying to get Here's to what road. happened to him yesterday. Around and smack. A little speedy drive. Brandon Jones hits the wall. Wow. Tyler Reddick in the nine also with an issue. Clear the one of Elliott Sadler. And around they go. The 19 of Brandon Jones caught the five of Michael Annette. Now coming in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Corner break. Once again, Brandon Jones. Yeah, free again. We saw it earlier in the race. Ending since we got the green flag. With six to go, man, he went nose first Stood after up by Kyle Cop Bush, and he just stepped over the line. And watch this job by Ryan Priest. Can't see oh. where he's going. How's he do that? Wow. Oh, for second. 
trouble. Oh. It's the 19 of Brandon Jones and the double zero of Cole Hold Custer. Eighth caution of the day. Hold up there, coming under you. Coming under you. And that's easy to do right there. That that very bottom lane of the tri-oval is, is a lot less banking than one lane up. And, and when you hang that seam like that, that car starts to unload the back, and he just wound up in a in a dead spot right there and just spun out. Advantage when this race started, running some really solid lap times. He was up to 13th. You can see she just steps out on him. But that's a fast truck. If he can get back to the pits without doing any more damage to the truck or any damage, I think he can contend tonight. You did a great job of keeping that truck. Oh, the 19th, 19th in the, the wall. wall. Goodness. Down, 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 Same thing. Had, had oh, a push. Oh, oh. oh, and there he goes. Talked about him too soon. Oh, that's going to be Into the wall, Brand yeah. Jones. Man, that was a tough break. I, I didn't see what he did wrong to Creed. He collected the 36. The double zero of Cole Custer gets squeezed and makes it through. Nowhere for the 22 to go. A little bit of damage on the nose of that car. Yeah, Brandon Jones in a 19 car. Nothing he could do. He got some damage. Stewart brings it inside the top ten. Oh, and there's Enfinger and Jones hard into the wall. Running one and two. You hear Briscoe from way back. Gets down in there just too deep. Makes contact, but funny, behind him there was another issue with the eight. The 19 spin. ...to being clean. There you see Scott oh. Eckert run into Gregson. Oh. He's going to come back across. The other side. Yeah. No safer barrier over there. They had just, uh, I believe this, this 19 season. And Let's the see. 19 it gets into the wall. Oh, the contact there. Oh, oh, Brandon, Jones. Brandon Jones goes around. Oh, keep going. Keep going. Everybody oh, coming through the smoke. Yeah. Tyler Reddick is up the racetrack and sliding. Here's the 18. And look at the nine squeezed by nowhere. For Brandon Jones in the night. Oh, might have been some contact. Was that Chandler Smith, maybe, that was running behind Brandon Jones? Maybe there was some slight contact, and they the are teammates. Getting loose right here, moving up the track, across that seam. It's just, the rest is history. Not a lot He's of He's such a good there. pusher. I don't oh, know that I'd want to leave him. Oh, no. And the there seven. we go. Whoa. Crash through the tri oval. <laughs> Justin Allgaier involved. Brandon Jones got a piece. This is the big one at Tower. It looks like Austin Cindric's behind him, but it's hard to tell if he if he got into him right there, Regan. Maybe a little contact, if anything. You know, Brandon may have had to check up just a little bit as they got three wide right there. Austin might not have. You just can't tell where that fire's coming from, though. You can't tell if it's coming from the left front. I don't know. I think that almost has to. You know, I don't know that brake fluid would. You'd have that much brake fluid yeah. in the whole front of the car. I think that almost has to be oil. And then he slid up right in it. What? Right in his tire track, so I don't know if Could something be was leaking. It was a race in hard. Jones. Oh, oh, there we go. no. goes Brandon Jones. Man, we were, were just talking him up. Great night into the wall. Man, we were just that talking thing him up. That snapped fast, really fast. That is a treacherous Locking. turn one and two. Wow. Just goes in there. Just no grip. That's pretty surprising how quickly that thing come around, how yeah. easily it come around. Yeah. All these guys. Now he's going to bring this all is... of his teammates oh, with him. Oh, he's getting turned around. Around goes Brandon Jones in the 19. Collects the 0-2 of Moffitt. They go back up and collect Hang more behind him. Big wreck there. The 8 is in there. Down in the so, seat. so they don't go up when a car gets upside down. That's a big impact. I mean, you know, it's obviously it's dramatic when he rolls over. But the lead. What said. a save. Bob. Oh, contact. And they're smashing in the backstretch. The 19 of Jones slides in, makes hard contact.